Uh, you know, here's the deal. We've got calm winds, high pressure, a lot of settling effect to the atmosphere. So the stuff that we have right now in the sky is not really moving a whole lot. That's a problem, especially not just in the city, but especially up towards the lakeshore. We've had uh, some of that fog around here. So come on in. Come on into Studio A, everybody. Temperatures right now, 60s and upper 50s. It is just downright comfortable outside. That sun beaming on down. This is a dew point. Why do I show dew points? This measures how muggy it feels. It doesn't feel muggy outside. But this is the number to watch. Dew points don't fluctuate a whole lot. So these numbers will pretty much stay where they are. And they're pretty even across the board. Upper 40s and near 50. Once our temperature comes down to this number, that's when you get the fog. So you notice the hodgepodge there. We also get kind of the hodgepodge in temperatures. That's why last night you had the patchy fog in one spot, not in the other. But again, that's the magic number that once that temperature drops, once we start to cool and it comes down to that, we'll start to develop that fog once again tonight. Why will we have fog? Eh, there's some moisture and there's not a lot of movement to the atmosphere. Wind pretty calm across Northeast Ohio. We still have that air quality alert through midnight. We'll see if it goes beyond that. There's not much of a change in the pattern through tomorrow morning, but bottom line, the air quality not good. There's a lot of particulate matter just kind of floating around out there. Live look I-90 Eddy Road. We've had some of the haze there. They had a nice shot of downtown when I loaded that in there, uh, and it's not just downtown. This is out towards the Madison area. You can see the fog that we've got kind of the haze in the atmosphere, not a lot of movement. So in terms of visibility, some of the lowest numbers off towards the north. We've got a good visibility in spots as well, but again, a lot of that going to come down tonight as we develop fog on top of that. National Design an Hour by our forecast. Other than that, it's quiet. Tonight, we're back down into the 40s. Remember that magic number? Notice some of us get down into the 40s to near 50 degrees for that dew point. So that's when that fog will develop. Likely, uh, probably the 10, 11 o'clock hour, it'll start. A lot of the fields and low-lying areas that get cooler first, and then it'll expand. Not expecting it to be quite as widespread as we get into uh, your Thursday night into Friday. This should be the last big night of the fog. Should clear off quickly tomorrow as well. We're looking at a stunner of a Thursday around here. Lots of sunshine, high temperatures approaching 70 degrees. Boy, what is going on weather wise? We're not done with the warmth after that. Friday, Saturday, still in the 70s. We do have some rain to contend with. We'll time that out. And then after that, it doesn't get much cooler behind this front. So here's the warmth out towards the west, widespread all the way up to the Canadian border. Why is this happening? Well, it's not just the eastern half of the country that's warm just because it's warm. The system out west is causing it. There's a big trough. Look at it digging out through the Baja of California. They've got all sorts of winter weather alerts, advisories, even winter storm watches there for the mountains. Much needed for them, but it's nasty out there. It is nasty, nasty, and that is what's causing us to be on the flip side, on the nice side of things. So everything kind of balanced in Mother Nature here, but things will start to change. It's going to come via a frontal boundary. This is our front as we go through time. Tomorrow it should be well established out towards the west by Friday in the central plain states. We've got a nice southwest flow, so no more fog. Lots of warmth will be in the 70s. This rain will eventually stall along the frontal boundary as a new low develops. When does it reach us? Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening, as it looks right now. Likely a line of gusty showers as that moves through. Should clear out Sunday midday through afternoon. Looks great. Remember, it's not colder behind this front. But as we get into the next week, we reload again. We bring in perhaps some tropical entity in here. And we've got another system. That looks to be the one that's going to change our pattern and bring some of that cooler November-like air. Union Home Mortgage, seven day forecast is beautiful the next three days. Late day rain chance on Saturday, early rain chance on Sunday if you're planning your weekend. And then for election day on Tuesday, we're dealing with sunshine, temps back into the 60s. Again, big pattern change happens beyond the seven day, but until then, please cherish these days because it's not like this every early November around here. This Something is true. Told this me is true. That. They said, you know, usually by now it's snowing, and I'm going. Well, Please hey, don't tell me that. We've had years terrible. and we haven't had snow until December, so no oh, worries. I'm not upset about that. It's all good. I'm, all right. I love it. <laughs> Thanks so much, Matt.